What's up guys and welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my review for the season finale of The Book of Boba Fett, notably season 1, episode 7, In the Name of Honor. So overall it was a good conclusion to the show in the form that it was more about Boba or it felt like more about Boba Fett wanting to retire in a safe place and have not really and kind of have his own promotion of sorts to have a place where he can retire and provide people a safe place to live. So kind of what Cobb Vanth was doing but on a bigger scale. But in general, because of the existing political climate of Mas Espa um, it was a little bit easier said than done. So overall, the episode essentially comes down to the big fight between the existing um, families that are in the city versus Boba Fett and crew. They ultimately succeed with a lot of effort, especially on the part of Boba Fett, the Mandalorian, using the Rancor, and the timely return of Grogu. Um, I'll get to that in a little bit as far as why... I think it would have been um, it would have made a more dramatic change um, victory if Grogu had not been there. But in general, the battle was well done in its dagger in uh, various points where they have the for the initial battle goes well enough where they're able to hold off the pikes, but then they bring in these big battle droids which felt like Sith war droids from Knights of the Old Republic. So if you remember the droids that the Star Forge built, they were kind of reminiscent of that, but also kind of mixed in with the um, droids from the um, Confederacy of Independent Systems. So a little bit of uh, mishmash there. But overall, um, that provide, proved to be the turning point where they have shields that are impenetrable to blaster fire, the dark saber, and all of that. So Boba ultimately goes to get the Rancor and uses the overwhelming power of the Rancor to get through the droid shields and defeat them, even though the droids have this programming to find the weak point in um, the Rancor. The Rancor is able to reverse that and um use the um droid the droid eye to or take it out so that it's unable to see what it's doing and defeat it that way so this let me led me to a iron man comparison in the form of um well first off we had an iron man style pose from iron man one where boba fett launches a rocket at some of the pikes and this is kind of mimicking in my opinion the um, Iron Man pose where he shoots the rocket at the tank um, when he goes to save the town in the first film. So there was that. And then also when he's analyzing um, Captain America's attack pattern, I want to say in Civil War, maybe in Iron Man... Actually, I think it was in the Captain America Civil War where he analyzes Captain America's um fighting power or fighting pattern and then captain america is able to reverse that so kind of a little bit of iron man connection there um otherwise and then also actually one of the cool parts of one of those scenes uh, sequences was when the droid fires at the rickshaw that um, mando and the lady and grogu are on mando catches grogu mid uh, flight so that i thought that was a pretty cool shot um, the only part of that scene that I didn't like was instead of asking the droid to go faster, why didn't Boba, or sorry, why didn't Mando use his rocket pack to go faster and escape, or find that go down, go faster down that alley they, alleyway that they were in, to with his rocket pack? So I thought that was kind of strange, unless his rocket pack was out of fuel or something like that. Um, Otherwise, as far as cool scenes, um, I liked a little bit of a King Kong throwback where we had the Rancor climbing that tower and yelling, so a very King Kong 1 element there. Um, and then in general, that's really the bulk of it. I mean, they ultimately prove victorious because the Rancor is able to take out the droids, they're able to save the cities, um, Fennec goes after the family heads of the other families and takes them out. So since the pikes are pulling out, it's a victorious um, day for everybody. My main um, issue with the episode is that it felt more like an episode 5 and 6 where they could have potentially split this episode into two episodes. So make the first half of episode 7 
actually episode five and then make the second half of the episode um episode six where they prove victorious and in against the pikes and they're trying to uh regroup and that's uh, make the droid silhouette in from the Mando Boba Fett point of view the end of the episode and then make the next episode the uh, rest of the battle and then Boba f- go flying off to get the Rancor um, potentially um, Mando either getting Slave 1 or because we had Man- Mando learning how to ride that animal in um, his show that he's able to go get the Rancor ride it and fight that in battle and then Boba Fett becomes the heir support in Slave 1 along the lines of what he did against the speeder bike gang so that there's that and then have the season finale for the show be the actual season 5 or sorry the actual episode 5 where um Mando now that he's used or as part as a tie-in to Man- the Mandalorian when Mando uses the dark saber against the um droids um and even he- against the droids and their shields and all that it ge- keeps getting heavier and heavier that he goes to find the armor and deal with why the dark saber gets heavier get some training fight with Vizsla and all of that so make that the season finale and or and tie it into Mando, Boba Fett that he's gonna go off and deal with that and ultimately return once that's all done to help Boba with recovery or whatever and and leave the whole episode six with Luke and Grogu and that whole training sequence for the Mandalorian and that whole choice. So essentially leave Grogu out of all this and let Grogu make his decision um, in the Mandalorian, let him have his training and all that. Even though he wants to be with Mando, he Luke or he goes through his training with Luke and kind of have a better idea of that um, um, training montage to mimic what happened in the Empire Strikes Back. Um, so it would have been one of those things where, um, the episode six with, um, Luke and, um, Ahsoka and Grogu was kind of extra and didn't need to be done. It did, it felt out of place or feels out of place even more now that we have all of this, especially to just have the setup to have Grogu make the choice between the Mandalorian and the, and Luke Skywalker. So that's kind of the bummer there, um, unless they decide to somehow pay it off in the Mandalorian. But the, as it stands as of right now, it was a kind of, it is essentially an extra episode that um, they didn't need to have. And just for me, it feels out of place that it wasn't necessarily an episode that fits in with this theme, especially just to have the choice by Grogu. The entire battle, it feels like, could have been won on its own without Grogu, especially since um, Boba shows up with the Rancor to help to get out, take out the shields, and then um, Mando can fly in like he did through the shields once they're, the flicker is there and um, take them out and fight their way through ultimately it is a lot harder than having grogu do you do his force thing to defeat the droid but um it could to me it could have been done especially since they set up the whole um cool fight scene with mando and boba early on flying in covering each other fighting and all of that stuff um the uh, and then that's really the bulk of that so to round it out um the last cool scene was with grogu putting the rancor to sleep so i like that little scene it was basically a cute moment so overall if i was to grade the um show and the or the, the episode and the season i'd probably give it a grade of about an 80 percent overall it was good it was enjoyable Episodes 5 and 6 were generally a distraction, but if they had rearranged the order of the episodes to put episode 7 before episodes 5 and 6, it would have worked a lot better. So ultimately, I might go back and rewatch it to see if that makes the season better. 
but that's kind of my opinion at the moment after watching all the episodes. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can f- comment on this post on Twitter at Patel N01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of